Hey. <laughs> How is everybody? Y'all are probably getting an ad. I don't know why it hasn't come up on my iPad yet. Oh, come on. There we go. It all just went out. And there's ads. How is everybody doing? You tilt it down just a little bit. There we go. There, oh, shoot. Sorry, I keep hitting the table. <laughs> I got ads. Okay. Hey, Patsy. Hey, Christy and Kimberly and Hyla. Y'all, I'm doing cookies. I'm not showing them. I'm just going to chat with y'all while I do them. Because I don't like working by myself. I do, but I haven't seen y'all in a while. I am about to have a cow. Because I think, I don't know how much of this red, oh, baloney. I'm going to have to pull out my other ones. Hey, Dina. I hate using these reds. I have three of these and they're all nearly empty. Moo. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Doggone it. I'm so sorry. Um, let me not push off of the one that's holding the camera. I love my new cookie room. I'm just saying. Angelique, welcome, babe. I don't have a dangling in here. I need to find one. Did you just join, babe? I was just missing everybody. You know? See people three days in a row and then nothing. <laughs> I'm starting with my thick, thick icing. I said I wasn't. This is not a cookie video. This is a let's visit video. Thank you. Well, thank you, Angelique, and welcome. And I've got some stuff planned, and you know, best laid plans. I try. I've talked about it before, and so is Hyla, about doing some one-on-one -on -one stuff. And it just never panned out. But I'm going to try really, really, really hard. to get that set up. I might put out some times for all the new members, for all the members. And, um, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm using all three. One's a, a red, red, one's a tulip red, and one's a Christmas red. As long as it's red, I'm good. But I don't want to have to use them out of the pots. I have those for emergencies. And I'm glad this came up because I, uh, was about to order some white food coloring. And yeah, I need to order some red too. And maybe even some black. I'll have to check. I think I'm going to be able to get it red. Red and black are the hardest colors to get. You made a dozen love braids? <laughs> I haven't. 
I went to make a um, zigzag because I was high was making all kinds of dang braids, and I'm like, Michael just sent me an attachment. What is the sound like? Because I don't think my AirPods are hooked up. Let me turn this up real quick. What is the sound like? Because oh, it's fine. Okay. Uh. Yes, TJ would love the cookies. But uh, I went to make a zigzag and ended up making a, what was it, Hyatt? Was it a spirit braid? Yeah. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. These allergies are kicking my butt. The oak pollen is killing me. Deluxe spirit. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it just like that. It's not quite as red as I want it, but the longer it sits, the darker it'll get. And I need to kind of remember that because sometimes you can make like a, like a burgundy if you put way too much red in there. Not really a burgundy. It's a dark, dark red. I'm putting these up and my, I'm not going to highly remind me to order red food coloring <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I'm going to forget. Okay. Oh, dang it. Sorry, y'all. So I had two cookie orders this week. I'm going to tell y'all a little story. What in the Sam hell is that? Are you flipping kidding me? I printed these and can y'all see the blue spots? They were perfectly white. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> this is, this is ticking me off. These were completely 100% white. Let me see if all of these are like that. That is going to piss me off. Excuse my language, y'all. I don't understand what that is. But it's on every daggum single one of them. <sighs> okay. I don't know what that blue is. That blue was not on the picture. I, I created the picture and I didn't put blue anywhere on it. This one, I printed these first. These are a friend of mine who has a, um, a real estate company and this is her logo. And I did, uh, she asked me to make some cookies for her and she didn't know what color she, she, she was rebranding. She's like, just do something. Well, she's really country. And so I said, let me do some turquoise and like some coppery brown. And she ended up turning the cookie into her new logo. So um, anyway, she's doing an open house. She has a brick and mortar office now. So I did print these. And they turned out perfect. It's Hegemeyer Realty and Associates. But these don't have, this doesn't have the blue splotches. I don't know what the hell happened to these baseballs. And y'all, pardon my language, but that really, really ticks me off because they were absolutely perfect. Okay. Patsy already has orders for homecoming. And she, she did the same thing and ended up with the deluxe spirit. That's funny. Um. Uh, there's Savannah. Savannah 
If y'all didn't see, if y'all don't follow, I got to stir this. I almost sit here and let my icing get a crust on it. Um, how did, how's your stuff, babe? Um, she, uh, she was doing a, an event as a vendor and a storm came through and tore up her, um, oh, baloney, her tent and some of her product and stuff. Uh, so I'm just checking in on you. Thank you. Um, hey, Catherine. Yeah, so Savannah, how is everything, babe? I know that was heartbreaking. Hey, Rachel. It was crazy. We got to save some stuff and sell what we could. And I think I remember you saying, did you have business insurance to help cover some of that? I know it doesn't make everything better, but y'all, I'm trying to get a piping consistency so I can pipe these baseball laces. I don't want it too thin because it will seep into the icing underneath. No, I had just, oh girl. How long ago though? Was the effective date the date that you called or did you finish out your month? Because if you just said, let me just finish out what I've already paid for, it may have still been in effect. So you need to check on that, babe. <coughs> Excuse me. I finished out my month. Was the month, when did it finish? Before the storm? Y'all, I have, I have to have insurance for my catering business and, um, it's like $500 a year, but I have a million dollar policy. Of course, you have to have way more, uh, for catering because people get sick. It's hospital bills and everything else. But, um, oh goodness, Savannah, I'm so sorry, babe. Um, insurance to me is a must, an absolute must. I'm going to pray that that is still thick enough. I might have put too much water in it. I ended up having to get me a new bag cooler. Sorry for the noise. Hey, Kelly. I'm still remembering where all my stuff is in here, y'all. So what I'm doing on these, I printed all of these and there's blue on there. It drives me nuts, but this family loves me. <laughs> They love me and I love them. She calls me for absolutely everything. She runs the, the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, she is their office manager and I cater for them and everything else. But her oldest son um, and his girlfriend got pregnant and um, they were not married. Kelly, did I say hey to you, babe? I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, they call me for absolutely everything. I do 
I did the, the baby's gender reveal, the baby shower, um, and now the baby's, uh, first birthday. So she wanted to do, and in the meantime, they had split up. So y'all know how that goes. Uh, this is my little story about people. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I wouldn't ignore that dog is going to drive me nuts. Um, hey, Serenity. Anyway, they, they split up, so it's not really going well with the split and everything else. So, they sent me a picture. She's, they sent a picture that she sent to them. Because I really don't know her. I've never met her. And it's probably a good thing. And, um, tell Serenity to, to close her ears when I cuss, okay? Um, because she's just being a pain in the butt. And... <laughs> Anyway, they sent me the pictures that she sent over, and the dad is a Coast Guard. And oh, what size do I need this to be? I can always do a new bag if I cut it too big. Let's try that. Anyway, so it was a, a white cake with it had light blue kind of smears on it with icing and then gold splatters and then a tall um anchor on the top well it was for a smash cake and she hears worse <laughs> patsy my dog too trying to watch me that's hilarious <laughs> um it's a smash cake okay and the topper, I suggested we just do a flat, simple topper, and I made it out of gold fondant so it wouldn't hurt the baby because anything that I had standing up would have to have a stick in it, and you don't put sticks in a smash cake um, because people get stupid sometimes, and they want to take and smash the baby's face in it and everything else, and my worst fear is somebody smashing a baby's face into a daggum cake and them coming out with a wooden stick in their eye. So, no, I told her, let's not do the topper like that. And I, she wanted it with the navy splotches. And it had a little, little gold stuff on it. It was super cute. So, I made it. Jared, the dad, came picked it up. And I said, now, you be very careful because there there's no stabilizer in this. Put it in the refrigerator as soon as you get there because I couldn't put anything in it to stabilize it because it's a smash cake. So, and I said, take some pictures of him and send it to me. Well, <coughs> excuse me. I talked to his mama, my friend, and I said, hey, did y'all get any pictures uh, with the cake in there? She's like, um, no. I'm like, she didn't use it, did she? She said, no, she didn't. She wanted it smooth. She wanted it fondant. And I'm like, you don't do fondant on a smash cake. The baby can't get through it to smash it. She's like, I know. I told her that. Jared told her that. Jared, the kid who doesn't do cakes, knows that you don't put fondant on a dang smash cake. Well, she had a vision. So she went and bought another cake. So I, gave, I gifted this cake to them. Because, like I said, they call me for absolutely everything. I do cookies and caterings and freezer meals whenever she was pregnant. And I did freezer meals where all they had to do is throw them in the oven. They call me for everything. This is her grandbaby's first birthday. I gifted it to her. It wasn't that much. $40 cake. <laughs> but, um... So this girl went and got another cake and it was fondant. And Jared was there when they were taking the pictures. And um, 
the baby couldn't get through the fondant. She had a vision and she wanted it perfectly smooth. And I'm like, well, that cake, she, the picture you sent me, she picked that out, right? Well, yeah. And I'm like, that's not fondant. You can't get edges like that with fondant. It was like the, a non cleaned off top edge of buttercream is what it was or ganache. But you can't give us a, a baby. You can't make a smash cake for a baby with ganache either because it's hard. They can't smash it. So the baby couldn't smash it. And then they didn't get very good pictures because the baby hurt his hand because the baker put a wooden dowel in it. So, and Jared was like, yeah, maybe next time you'll listen to us. She's not just our friend. She's a professional. She does this for a living. Maybe next time you'll listen. And <laughs> so his mama got on him for not getting, did you not get one, a picture of it at all? He's like, no, mom, I was too busy trying to keep from throwing it, throwing it at her. And I'm like, I would have paid for that. <laughs> I would have paid for a picture of that. I just, uh, I don't get the pettiness just because. And there was nothing wrong with the cake that I sent them. It was exactly what she asked for. There was nothing wrong with it. She had a vision. It was safe for the baby. <laughs> what she got was not, and maybe she learned. Yes. Anyway. But now I'm making cookies. I said, so she's not going to be happy with anything I make. She's like, oh, yeah, she likes your cookies. And I'm like, well, I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> as long as you're happy, I'm happy. So, yeah. Moral of this story is don't put wooden dowels in a smash cake. And don't put fondant on a smash cake because the baby can't freaking smash it. Okay, this icing is working. So what's everybody working on? I have these two cookie orders and I gotta make cake pops. I freaking hate cake pops. Rhonda knows, she knows I hate cake pops, but the girl wanted cake pops in the shapes of baseballs. I said, Rhonda, only because it's you. She's like, I know you hate them, but would you do it? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it too. <laughs> uh, yes, only because it's you. Michael gets on me when, when people call me for cake pops and I tell them I hate making those damn things. Because you have to have that chocolate at the perfect temperature when you dip them or it's going to crack. The chocolate has to be perfect temperature, and the filling has to be perfect temperature. And I hate them. Did I mention that I hated them? With a dang passion. So I'm just overpiping on those. Uh... Oh, on the dang stitches, y'all. I'll get my words out in a minute. I'm not going to pipe the black because... Uh, my black bleeds a lot. I'm working on redoing my craft room and getting ruffler shipped. You go, girl. CE classes, lays, and braids. Hey, American. Waiting on your kid. Holla made some of those deluxe spirit chains today. Did you film it? Because I haven't, I haven't had a chance to do anything. Uh, Kelly made three graduation lays. You know, that nobody makes those in my area. So, um, I think that I need to, to do them. But, you know, I also don't have a ton of time either. Thank you, American. Uh, saying hello to Kimberly. Not yet. 
what what are you not yet and did i ask a question sorry been working on zigzags and, and attempting the paint but i still oh you didn't film it that's it okay um playing around with measurements yeah i need a lot of practice on the painting too they are just now starting last year there was a few oh somebody got an ad ching ching no i'm kidding <laughs> i'm not kidding really <laughs> Yeah, this icing is working out. And I, I got in here and I didn't have any misprints on any of the ones that I printed. I printed two different things. Got them printed really quick. And I was like, this is going really well. My icing set up perfectly. And then I got the dang blue spots. So I have to ask, do any of our members want the one-on-one? -on -one? It would be through a link, um, and it would be members only. So we would have a split screen, and we would work together on what you needed help with. I can't believe I've only gotten two dang cookies done. Um, I love the paint and braid. They're still coming out really loosey-goosey, but you got the movements. Okay, cool. That's what counts. I got the movements too, and they're either too tight or too loose for me. So, uh, I gotta perfect them. My chin is itching. I'm here just unpacking a new place. Savannah, you moved again? Or are you opening up a storefront, baby? It's so quiet in here. Just me talking. <laughs> I don't have Hyla in my ear. <clears throat> oh my goodness, girl. Casey is outside barking at somebody. Hey, Veronica's here. Every time I get going on this, let me use a... I get an itch that I can't scratch. Um, birthday lays and one graduation. Put a QR code on the birthday. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's a great idea. <clears throat> I would personally love that. For the life of me, I can't do a love chain or you knew Alex. Mine look ridiculous. I'm sure they don't look ridiculous. I'm sure they don't look ridiculous. Okay, what do you mean angel's braid? Angel braid. The angel wing? Um... 
Uh, I gotta text Cody and tell him to get the dog. Get the dog. Oh, yeah. I'm like, Angel's Braid. I'm trying to figure out what the Angel's Braid is. This part is tedious. Hey, Becky. There's Kristen, too, because she's a 10. <laughs> hey, so I need to get my calendar out. I have lived in the Brenham area, Hempstead area, for probably 28 years or more. And I've never actually been to the Blue Bonnet Festival. I've worked it. I've worked traffic whenever I was a deputy at uh, Washington County. But I never actually went to the Blue Bonnet Festival. And I want to. But I don't know if... Uh, I'm scheduled that day. I'm going to get my calendar. Oh, let me not touch the dang thing. Hold on, let me grab my calendar. <laughs> I need to remember what day. Just to make her mom. Okay, tell me again your name. Because I am not going to remember. I'm trying not to hold on to the table to scoop so it won't jiggle and it does anyway. Heather. <laughs> Always put Heather in there when you say hey so I know what to call you. <laughs> and I honestly think, I'm, oh, I think it might be the weekend of the 12th, 13th, and 14th. So... I want to go, and I'm happy to have y'all come and go with me, or meet me there, actually. It wouldn't be mom making, but we could hang out. And I'm definitely going to be in San Antonio in June. I also have a cookie stencil company because I'm, I'm as polka dot tree. Girl, really? You know, I have a, a bunch of stencils and I'm going to keep them because there are times when I don't want to set up my machine. If I only have a couple of cookies to do, I use the stencils and my airbrush or uh, royal icing. But I love my stencils and I do those for the paint your own cookies. So you still have that stencil company? Wait a minute. Heather Ailes, right? Girl, you have so much stuff going on. <laughs> You are there this time in San Antonio. Yes, girl. That's crazy. Uh, you are like me. Got your hand in absolutely everything, don't you? Can't stand not to be busy. Doggone it.
So I knew, I knew you, Heather Ailes. Y'all, Heather is the one that brought the, um, if y'all need a refresher, brought that cutting machine that none of us knew anything about except for TJ. And uh, I'm not sure because it sounds like mom school and not as fun as mom camp, if that makes sense. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I have... I'm not going to Amistad's deal. Um, that's not what I was talking about. I can't be in San Antonio um, for two weekends in a row. Can't afford it. So, no, I have... It's the weekend after that that I will be there. And... Uh, Last time, Christy had us all planned out. Christy's in charge of it again this year, too. <laughs> I done told her she's in charge. Because <laughs> she did such a good job last year. No, basically, it's one day, and we hit up where we can. We go to lunch. Pray that Hyla doesn't get a storm that knocks out her power for weeks. Yeah. It's not that. It's not for the mum show. I have school board conference. So. And I'm there. I think it's the second weekend in June every year. As long as I'm still on the board. Always have something going on. Stencils were the thing before Eddie. Yes. I still I still love my stencils, girl. And Eddie is great for printing logos and stuff. But it, he's not real good for the paint your own cookies. And everybody loves to paint your own cookies. And because whenever you put water on the icing on the, the print part, it smears. And when you use a stencil with royal icing, it doesn't smear. Yep, his ink bleeds. I love him. I love him. He has made my life so much more simple. Um, instead of trying to... Uh, any writing that I do now, I print, print it on there. And then I pipe over it. So I don't have to project it or make my own stencil or anything like that. Um, and then background, if I need backgrounds. And the I can make the dang stitching really easily. But this puts it exactly where it needs to be. They're exactly the same on every cookie. It just makes my life easier. But there are things that Eddie is not good for. And that is one of them. Okay, I'm missing something. Yes, Amistad is hosting a mom open house that lasts three days. That's the weekend before I'm going to be there. I can't go to that one. I can't be in San Antonio for two weekends in a row, especially right after graduation. I'm surprised I'm not already booked for that weekend. Uh, I packed that bag for my flight bag. Oh, yeah. What is the thingy deal? <laughs> the thingy deal. <laughs> Think of a jiggy. Dilly whopper. So, let me get my calendar back out. Because... Summer leadership is, I will be in San Antonio the 12th through the 15th. So I, I drive in and check in the hotel on Wednesday and I check out Saturday morning. So I have class all day Thursday and all day Friday. We have, um, we go to, to our um, 
school attorneys, they put on a big party with food and drinks and everything afterwards. So we'll be at those probably Thursday and Friday, but then Saturday, I check out of the hotel first thing in the morning and go shopping. <laughs> That's what we did last year. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. And he better be. He damn well better be because he cost $3,500. And that doesn't even count the carousel and the attachment and then all the sassy trays and the jiggy systems and all of that stuff. And one ink cartridge is like 150 bucks. So, he better be a game changer. And he is. But, He's not the end-all be-all. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, I got a couple of baby mums to make. Can't wait to see those. Shopping is that Saturday. Yes, Patsy, Saturday. Because I'm not done with my classes. Um, we get all of our CE um, that weekend. So it's all included it's less money on the district because it's all right there. So, um, one is a girl, one is a boy. So I'm trying to find Blue's Clues stuff. Go to Do Doesn't Dollar Tree have some Blue's Clues stuff? That would be super cute. Uh... Where did Christy go? Christy, are we shopping at KC Dollar? The, the other um, craft store there, too, we're going to go to. I think the price of the open house is the same as the price of our mom camp, y'all. I think it's $150. I have to make a trip to San Antonio for KC Dollar. I mean, to tell me about that place at camp. Kristen, come up that weekend and go shopping with us. I've never seen, where's L&M at? I have to finish these tonight, y'all. So y'all are just going to have to bear with me being quiet a minute. Hang on just a minute, Kristen. Let me finish this one cookie and I'll pull my calendar back out. I think it starts the 12th. Um, I think the 15th is the Saturday. Let me know if the 15th is on a Saturday. But we kind of have to get started early because some of those places close early on Saturdays. I don't know where Glen Rose is. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to pull out the last five of these. June. June, yes. <clears throat> and then Southern Florida, y'all, excuse, I, I keep knocking it with my knees. Southern Florida will have their, um, their mom open house too. That's just one day. It's free. Um, and we've all met down there before too. I wonder if Amistad actually got with them and got a group rate because they can cut those deals down a lot with the group rates. But San Antonio uh, is uh, 
they can get high too because they're a tourist destination. Y'all, I can't look up Glen Rose to see where it is to see how far it is from me because that's my phone. <laughs> But yeah, I wanted to go to Amistad's. But I was talking to the lady that owned it whenever she um, contacted me about um, wanting to sponsor for our camp. And she said that uh, they had a braid lady coming and I'm like, well... Uh, might not be a good idea because that braid lady does not like me and I don't care for her either. And I would not uh, ever want to bring any um, drama into your event. So let me just not. <laughs> let me just not. So I'm not. The sale place didn't, but I did not, I didn't call him. So, I didn't call him. I'm not sure he was aware of it. I really want to make some plans to go up there early this summer, too. Y'all, I'm going to have to pace myself with my spending. Because <laughs> I've got San Antonio... I want to go to the sale place. Because I haven't been up there in a couple of years. <clears throat> More than a couple of years. I think it was 2019 the last time I, I went there in person. Um... Okay, I'm glad y'all are talking about that. In fact, let me go get my book. Because I've been going through the swag stuff going, I don't have as many bags as I need for those that didn't show up. And I'm glad that you said that. So. <clears throat> Kelly. Uh... You put it in a code word. Okay. <coughs> Dang it. <coughs> so Heather has Kelly's bag. So I can mark Kelly off my list. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. And Becky has most of her stuff. And Mindy got her stuff. So I just have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. <coughs> Doggone it. Oh, it's the 15th of June. 
Oh, wait a minute. Glen Rose is known for dinosaur parks. Beat me is building a filing cabinet for me. And it's not. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, American. <laughs> of course, they're not being able to watch me make my cookies, but. Uh, I still got to plan that. I can do June. Summer starts. Then. Awesome. It's close to Fort Worth. Okay. Hi, low. When, when, okay, let me see if I can read down here. Uh, when is it? I'm going to post it in the group. Hit L&M on the way to sale place. To hit L&M in the sale place in July. Okay. Hyla posted it in the group. I'm not able to look. So t tell me the dates if you don't mind. Oh, it's June 29th and 30th. Hmm. That's an idea. Is that a Saturday and a Sunday? I have two more of these baseball shape cookies. And then I move on to the next one. Kristen, are you going up north to see him? I am. I have schools in Midland and Odessa and I'll be, oh, awesome. Oh, they're out. Okay. They're not up north. They're west. There's a lot of y'all. I can't remember where everybody's from. <laughs> Yeah, if I can get all my money spending out in June, that would probably be great. <laughs> I'm going to Lubbock soon, and I'll see. Oh, that's awesome. I know one of y'all, and I can't remember who it was, posted about going to the Blue Bonnet Festival. It posted in the Blue Bonnet Festival thing. Who was that? Because I want to go. And I don't want to go by myself. Yes, Tiny Braid Maker. <laughs> Amanda Griggs. Okay. 
yeah working on a church festival the last six months it was on sunday my unwind time was making double military braids oh wow <laughs> yes okay now i have to do number one I need to look at her text to see which way she had them going because she ordered specific Rhonda 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 come on there she is I have ads up. Today, please. Okay. I'm just going to do one and call it good. And then... Yeah, okay. Done. I'm not done. I just got the right thing on there. All right. I saw something on Facebook about the Blue Bonnet Festival, and I told my husband I wanted to go. Please let us know when and where you're going to be. Becky, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see Veronica's pictures. I need to go look. Good night, Dina. Ouch. My word. I'm tired of piping. I'm just saying. These might end up being a little bit farther apart. Putting all my lines on first. These cookies, you look at them and they're super simple, but they're a pain in the butt because you got to pipe all those tiny, 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 dang little lines. I'm drowning in zipper pulls, y'all. Now they're qu requesting bog bagged. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to be making some of those. I bought the hardware to make them. Not exactly the hardware that you use. And I was kind of looking, going, can I make this easier on myself? And I think the hardware that I got is going to make it easier on me. They're, they're going to be bigger, though. Uh, make it and they will come. Yes, as soon as, be, be careful of what you post. Oh, dang it. 
be sure that you want to remake what you post. Because I made some really, really dang cute uh, succulent cupcakes where I hand pipe different kinds of succulents on there. And everybody wanted those. And I didn't want to do them again. <laughs> so I just started charging a lot more for them. And I only had to make them a few times. Oh, the bog bags. You know you can get those on Timu. The rent on key rings rather than charm bases. Yeah, so if you post something and you get a lot of requests for it, just up the charge. You'll make less items, but make the same amount of money. Um, okay. Hold on, y'all, because I have to think. So, this way. Yeah, okay. I have a long ad playing. Give me a minute and I'll show y'all what I'm working on now. And I need y'all to understand that I'm only doing two dozen cookies total. And how long have I been live? I know I've been talking through them, but two dozen. Everybody wants to know why these cookies cost so dang much. We all know why. Because they take hours. Oh, don't you dare touch that icing. That's what they wanted. It It's simple, but hand piping all those little tiny things are a pain in the butt. Yes, they are. But y'all, I've seen people in other areas charging like $85 for one dozen cookies, like basic cookies. I can never get that. I can never get that here. That's why y'all don't see me doing very many cookies because I can barely get what I charge. <laughs> now, when I do like the bulk, the ones where I choose the the design and stuff, ones that I can do quick knockout pretty fast. Those I do cheaper because they don't take me as long. And I get to choose the ones that are 
a lot less detailed. So I charge less for them. I get a lot of takers on that, but it's the custom stuff that a lot of people get sticker shock. And I, <laughs> yeah, you, you want, you know, 12 different cookies and they all have five or six different colors on them and they're all different designs. Yes, you're going to pay more. Now, if you wanted 12 of the same cookie or maybe three different cookies in that set, one's super simple, one can be detailed, yeah, then the price will go down. But... You want all these character cookies and stuff? No, ma'am. Those are expensive. Highly just went down the rabbit hole. Um. <coughs> these cookies are not due until Friday. But let me tell you why I'm doing them so far ahead. For one, I can. These things stay fresh for months. But tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to bag all these up. They're going to be sealed. They're going to taste just like they did on Friday. Just like the day that I made them. Um, and this is something that I can get done and out of the way to free up some time at the end of my week. I have to sit down on Sundays and plan out my days because um, I have two caterings this week. Um, and, oh, bologna, I put it up now. Okay, this way. Um, I have a breakfast catering on Thursday. And then I have... I'm back out at Camp Allen, so I have, uh, for the Lakewood Church, the men's retreat. So I have dinner Friday night, breakfast, and lunch on Saturday. So I went and got Mama all her stuff today. <laughs> so she is set up with food and snacks and things like that for several days. And then Michael had a, um, a procedure yesterday, which he's fine. It was a, uh, it was just some tests. He he's he's fifty plus. We're not going to go into what the tests were, but um, it's something that men or anyone his age should get done anyway. And then we went and bought brisket for this weekend. So yeah, today was cookie and cake bot making day. Tomorrow is shopping day. So I'll be going to Restaurant Depot and Sam's tomorrow to get all the stuff for my breakfast catering on Thursday and then my three meals that I have to cook for Friday and Saturday. And then these two orders, the two dozen cookies and two dozen cake pops. And then the other two dozen cookies that I um, did, I just showed y'all. I'm not doing anything else to those. She likes them with just her logo. Hey, Nadia. How are you, babe? So, yeah. It's a busy week. And today, I actually got out there. I got some bulbs and some corms for caladiums and dahlias and hollyhocks and peonies and hostas and it's still getting down below 50 at night a couple of times so i really can't put much out so i haven't got my garden planted yet but i've got everything started and pre-sprouting i could technically plant everything but i don't have the time and i have to go get more uh compost to finish off all my beds and my pots so now she's going down the timu rabbit hole <laughs> come on
calling it a night. Good night, Kristen. Oh, Lord, it's 10 o'clock. Well, I'm finishing up these dang cookies, and y'all can hang out with me until I finish them. That way I can go shopping tomorrow with a clear head. And all I have to do is I'll have to wait on the cake pop because I don't want to do those too far ahead of time. They are rolled and shaped and put in the freezer. So all I have to do is dip those and then pipe dang baseball laces on all 24 of those too. But this time in chocolate because uh, cake pops are chocolate. And then I have to pray that I can keep the chocolate liquid enough to come out correctly. I'm afraid to get my plantings into the garden yet. Last week, hail massacred the arugula and kale. Yes. So, what area are you in? You're close to me, aren't you? Belleville got hit so hard. Just right up the road. They had a tornado and hail. It looked like the whole ground was covered in snow. It was bad. I have some friends that work there and uh, they um, they showed that it just destroyed windshields and vehicles. It, destroyed them. It was that bad. I'd never seen a hailstorm that bad. Oh, by the Texas Motor Speedway. Okay, sorry. I get everybody mixed up. I know y'all understand. So, yeah, we just, we just had a lot of rain, and the temperatures are getting, they're, they're still too cold at night, definitely for my peppers. But hell, I've got, I've already got tomatoes coming on some of my plants that aren't even planted out yet. So I'm going to have to pick those off. That hurts my heart so much. And I've got peppers that have peppers already growing on them that I'm going to have to pick off whenever I plant them out. So, dang, there's another ad. I did not. I've never, what is poppy paint? I've never heard of that. I went down to Timu Rabbit Hole earlier today. Oh, goodness, girl. Okay, I'm waiting on you to tell me. You have to tell me what poppy paint is. So, I don't really use Color Mill. I use Chef Master. Or do I use Color Mill? I don't know. Poppy paint is an edible paint that you can use on chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't have any specific chocolate paint or color because I used to do a lot of stuff in chocolate. That's how, that's how my business started. My email is made in chocolate. So, I used to do everything with chocolate, and then it just expanded, and I kind of got away from the chocolate. Don't ask me why. Um, it just is. Uh, so, 
All y'all that are ordering off of Timu, remember that Hala and I are, um, we have links in our descriptions to our Timu stuff. If y'all are new or order through any of those links, it doesn't cost you anymore. And we get paid a little bit of a commission. And I have to make a dang video. And I've been putting it off, but I need to make it so I can put the stuff up. I had a jewelry company. And yes, I said jewelry. I have, I, I, this is my jewelry. I wear my wedding ring every so often, and that's it. Uh, but a jewelry company get in contact with me. And I agreed to do it because I looked at some of their stuff. And there's stuff that we could use for homecoming on there. <laughs> so I need to do that video. Oh, wow. And their stuff is so cheap. And just like Timu, the stuff comes from China. Just about everything you buy now comes from China, so I don't want to hear it. But it's cheap. And I actually wore some of the jewelry while I was um, washing dishes and stuff. And um, just to see if it would turn green and didn't. Uh, I tried to use your link and it said for new, oh, it is for, um, yeah, for downloading, you, you would get the discount if you're, you, if you downloaded the app for the first time, stuff like that. Honey's in here, babe. You want to come say hi? You have your shirt on? Yeah, he still got clothes on. He was welding today. So, hi everybody. <laughs> there you are. He's got the. I can touch him now. He inhaled too much of the stuff. So, uh, anyway, Hollis said, "Hey, honey." <laughs> There's Savannah. We're making plans on meeting up in in San Antonio. Okay. So. Oh my goodness. Oh. Cody ready to come out and wash dishes? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm done with these. So I'm going to be done. Hey, Miss Connie, honey. <laughs> That's American. <laughs> Angelique and Veronica. You met Veronica and Angelique. You did not meet American. You met Heather just to make her mom. Kimberly was there. Of course, you met Isla. Veronica, yes, you met her. We have not got to meet American in person yet. That's a goal. Okay. That's a goal. She's one of the OGs. <laughs> mm. So, are you getting ready for bed? Mm -mm. Oh, I am. It's like 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I got to take a shower. Okay. <laughs> I'm calling in and not good night, Veronica. I'm I'm about to get off here, babe, because I'm uh, night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been on spring break. Tomorrow is their uh, first day back, so I've had like two, seven, eight, nine, eleven days off. So, um, it's going to be hard getting back to work. <sighs> oh my goodness, that dog. But anyway, I got to do it. Lavish. Who's lav? Oh, Lavish Craft. There you go. I was like, Lavish? What the hell are you talking about, girl? Okay, let's recap. Oh my goodness, that was my mama.
That one's done. And these are done. And the other ones were done before y'all came on. <laughs> they done, they've been done. So anyway. Well, I don't have any littles anymore, so it is what it is. <laughs> when they have spring break or summer vacation, I get spring break and summer vacation from my normal work. But, all right, y'all, I guess that is it. No, you are not wrong. American, you are not wrong. I am wrong. Don't tell anybody I said that, though. Deny everything and demand proof. So, I'm going to get this put up so I don't have to deal with it later. So, anyway, yeah, it's bedtime. Or it's quiet time. Icing to... And yes, I just said that. Sorry. Air bubbles in the icing bag. Oh, uh, dang it. I knew I shouldn't have done that as soon as I touched it. This icing is... The next time I want to use this, all I have to do is mix it up really well, and I can use it in a month. This stuff stays good for so long, because there ain't nothing in it to go bad. All right. Yes, American and H. Cooper Crafty Bug. Wait a minute. American's not a moderator on here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did Hyla have to ban somebody and I missed it? Oh, dang it. Okay. Anyway. So, y'all, um, leave some hearts in the comments. Not the live chat, in the comments. So. Oh, she is a good moderator. She thinks of everything. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to start yawning. I'm going to continue yawning. And uh, I would say it needed to burp the icing. But yes, <laughs> my kids, I have boys, you know, toots are funnier than burps. You know, it's all, it's all good. But you got to admit, toots are better than burps. In the boy mama world. <coughs> when the live ends, leave them in the comment section. There you go. All right, y'all. Thank you. Um, I'm hoping the next time I go live, I'll be making some braids. Or doing something in my dang craft room. Because I need to get in there. I need some therapy. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get my dirt therapy anytime soon. Because I still got to go buy more compost. But... I need to get in there and get to doing some stuff. So, all right, y'all. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you're not subscribed, please do the upload or that I go live. I miss you guys already. I'm ready to do it again. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.